So today we're going to be putting a fence in right here to fence in the garden area to keep Zoe out of it. We're going to do it out of repurposed material. As you can see, we definitely need it. There she goes. And so we got our first post in here. Tied our string off with a clove hitch and a quick release. Hand Gabriel to camera. We got a stake. Stretch our string out to where we want the fence to go. I think. Me and Becky sit right about here. Everybody look straight. You can look down the line. Oh yeah. Okay. So then we got a stake. In the ground. Pull the line good and tight. No knot needed here. Important thing. We were on this side of our stake down our post down there. We got to be on this side of our stake here. If not, our posts are going to be off. Now we'll take a board, lay out, spray paint every eight foot where we're going to put posts and get to digging our post in. All right, so here we are. There's Gabriel, our eight foot board. I didn't make it center of this post because I want it to go all the way against the building so we can have something to put the wire on. And Gabriel's going to pick up his end. I'll pick up my end. Good. He marks his end. We go all the way to the end like this. Good. Move the auger. Zoe back. And then as you can see, it's gonna be over here. But that's no big worry. We'll take care of it. Alright, so we put in miles and miles of fence. As you can see, this is a short area of fence. Knock on wood. We've never hit a power line or a water line till today. Power comes in on the side of this building and water's right here. Luckily I was hand digging it, found them all. So now we're gonna hand dig all these posts all the way through. So we'll start with making our hole. Just like so. And once I get the hole dug, we'll show you how to set a post. All right, so we've got our hole dug, we got our post, we got our string. We're dealing with half round post. You want to lay it right up against the string like this. We have our board here. As you can see, there's a bunch of marks on it. This is my mark for today. See, it says mine. So 51 inches is what it is off the ground. The wire we're using is 48, so I want the wire to hit the top board. So that one's a little bit high. I can pound it down with a hammer. Post leveler, it levels both ways at once. So that's level that way. And that's level that way. So I can kick some dirt in there. And usually both of us are doing it, but somebody's got to run the camera. All right, son? Mm -hmm. Miss Zoe's not going to be happy in a few hours. And then the double checker level. Put everything in there. I like to start with using a shovel handle or a small piece of wood to tamp it in there. Release the bubble. Look at oh. Look, there's no way. There we go. And once we get it tamped in there fairly good, we'll use our big tamper. It's not my foot. We have a 16 pound tamper over here somewhere. We'll grab it and get it tamped in. <coughs> I like this tamper, it's got a wedge on the end and a flat end. Let's take it, tamp your bowls in. Always check, make sure you level. You can see how much better 
is dirty. Your tent's that bowl, man. That bowl's in there pretty good. So we'll roll on, get all the poles in, and we'll show you putting boards up. All right, that's a perfect example. We keep these simple testers with us. We just tested it on the plug-in over there to make sure it worked. If we come over here and look in this hole, Gabriel's smart enough to be digging easy. If you look right here, there's a power line right there. So, test it. There's no power on it. This thing will make a noise if you bump it. There's no power on it. So, the joys of living here is where our barn is. Our workshop, we have always called a barn. There used to be another one that burnt down years ago when my father was here. And he run power lines everywhere. So we know this is a dead line. So I can reach down in here like this and move it around and get it out of the way and continue to dig our hole. Always, always be careful of power lines. That good? That gonna be good? All right, put some dirt on it. So we're at our next set of last post. There's gonna be a gate right here. I always like to turn around and look and see how good my line is. But if you look, we got one that's leaning in a little bit. So this one, and that second one down there has to be moved. That's why you always turn around and look back behind your line. This one needs to come over. And then this second one down here has got to be straightened up because it's leaning. So we're just gonna dig out behind it and move it over. All right, there's Gabriel. Say, hey Gabriel. Still not a morning person. We got one more post to put in right there where Zoe's sniffing. You can see we got all the posts in now. Once we get these posts in, we're gonna put three boards. One, two, three, and cover it with hog wire or no climb wire as some people call it. We're doing all this to protect them girls right there because Zoe keeps aggravating them. Okay, we got the front side done. Gabriel's hooking everything, all the wire on with staples. Three boards are on, and all we got left to do is put facers on. All right, there we are, finished product. Gates on, wires up, it's doing what it's supposed to. It's keeping Zoe out here, away from the girls. So, simple job, easy to do, few tools you can do it. You won't go back in? All right, hold on, let go. This is the gate for the chickens. Yep. And the garden. And the greenhouse. And the greenhouse. All right, tell them. Hey, come here. Tell them. Say, see you next time. See you next time. God bless.